Hi there, in this video I'm going to explain how to work out or how to calculate the equation of the plane formed by two lines or the equation of the plane containing two lines. So let me call this equation of plane okay, uh, containing two lines. So, let me underline that also. So, if we're given two lines, so given two lines with equations. So, if the vector equation of the first line is R equals A1 plus lambda M1, and if I have another line with vector equation a2 plus mu m2, okay? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to calculate the equation of the plane formed by these two lines. So if I have two lines like so, okay? And if they can form a plane, so if a plane is formed, in other words, by these two lines, okay, I'm going to show you how to work out that plane's equation. So if this equation is given by R equals A1 plus lambda M1, and if the equation on this line here, that is R equals A2 plus mu M2, okay? Now, Remember, when it comes to lines, M1 and M2 are the direction vectors of these lines, okay? So direction, in, uh, direction vectors mean these are the vectors which are parallel to the lines. So M1, that is the vector which is parallel to this line here, and M2 is the vector which is parallel to this line over here, okay? Now we need M1 and M2, so if we apply the cross product of these two vectors, M1 and M2, remember, um, using our theory of the cross product, if we apply the cross product of M1 and M2, you're going to get a vector which is perpendicular to both M1 and M2. So therefore, that vector which is perpendicular to M1 and M2 is going to be um, therefore the normal vector of your plane okay so by working out m1 cross m2 we're calculating a vector perpendicular to m1 and m2 hence the normal vector of this plane okay so remember we use n as the normal vector okay now remember we're working out the equation of the plane which is formed by these two lines and Looking at our lines themselves, A1 and A2 are the position vectors of the fixed points on these two lines, but also these fixed points are also on our plane, okay? So we would need at some stage A1 or A2 in order to work out the equation of this plane itself, okay? So I'll come back to that shortly. So. Going back uh, slightly, so remember to calculate our normal vector n, okay? We need to calculate the cross product of these direction vectors, so m1 cross m2, okay? So uh, I did a video previously in terms of how we can calculate that cross product by using the determinant of a three by three matrix, okay? So let me take a red pen and underline that, so that's very important to work out n the normal vector, okay? However, to calculate capital P, okay, so let me remind you. So in one of the previous videos, so let me just find it firstly. So, when I explain how to work out the, the equation of the plane in scalar product form, we came up with this result, 
R dot N equals capital P and capital P is A dot N. Okay, so um, to work out capital P, so I'm going to show you how to work out capital P. Remember the result, it's A dot N, but remember what I said earlier, we can take A1 or A2, so the position vectors of the fixed points on these lines, because these two fixed points are also on our plane. So when choosing A, you can take it to be A1 or A2, okay? So to work out P, P is, as I said, A dot N, and choice of A is up to you. You can take it to be A1 or A2, okay? So once you know this, remember the equation of the plane formula. So this is the scalar product equation of the plane formula. So equation of the plane, as we've seen earlier, R dot N equals capital P. So once you know your result for the normal vector N, once you've calculated capital P using the scalar product, substitute the results into this formula and you've got the scalar product equation of the plane. Okay. So that completes this video. In the next video, um, I'm going to go through an example of how this method is applied to work out the equation of the plane formed or containing two lines. Okay, so I hope to see you then. Thank you.